I decided to work from the photograph so that I could, I could uh, accept some things as a given, so that I wouldn't have to think about composing, I wouldn't have to think about the invention of shapes. Some funny things happened in the making of this painting. I, I worked from two photographs, a bottom half and a top half, and when I was up on the ladder making the top half of the painting, I was doing, I made this much. And uh, then when I went to the bottom, I realized that what I had made was uh, smoke, and I, I, I wasn't aware that while I was making it that that was what it was. This is the uh, first portrait. I decided to pick an image that had shapes and edges and some amount of uh, focus difference so that it would be soft things and hard things. I mean, you can see the first kind of efforts at uh, trying to establish this kind of focus difference. I was interested in trying to get this kind of backlighting to work. I'd get too much paint on and then I'd have to try and take it off somehow and I would scrape away with razor blades. There's no question but what I had some attitude about the way I wanted to be perceived. Uh, sort of, uh, and now it seems very funny, this wanting to look like a tough guy with a cigarette sticking out of the corner of my mouth and, and a big aggressive image of myself and uh, saying to the viewer, hey, notice my painting, notice me. Uh, uh, you make it big, it takes a long time to walk by it and, uh, and it's hard to ignore. Um, and uh, I think I was trying to find out, you know, what I, who I was as an artist. I have as many potential portraits as there are people in the world. And then I recycle uh, an image and use it over and over uh, um, anyway. I, I find it an incredibly full vessel that I can keep returning to and get something different from each time I go to it.